Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. McKay. Last week we talked about mixing colors and making new colors out of other colors. Today we're gonna look at fall leaves. So I'm outside of school and I'm looking at all the different leaf shapes that we have here on campus. Look at that little guy, so cute. This week, I want you guys to go outside and find some leaves. So I'm gonna pick a few leaves here and then I'm gonna take them back to my classroom and we're gonna talk about what our project's gonna be. But our first part of our project today is going to be a little scavenger hunt. Go outside and find lots of different kinds of leaf shapes, however many you can find. All right, I'm back in my classroom and I've got a piece of paper, a set of watercolor paints, some crayons, and all the leaves I found outside. We're gonna do a quick project. It's really fun. We're gonna look at the shapes of the different leaves and then we're going to talk about what colors they could possibly be as the leaves start to change this fall. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and look at my desk and do the next step. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is put my leaves on the paper however I wanna do it. You might need to have an adult help you find the leaves because I was too short to reach a lot of them. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna choose a crayon. You can choose whichever color you want. I like to use a dark color. I think it shows up better. And I'm gonna trace my leaves. And I'm gonna look at the veins. Look at the veins that you have on the leaves and try to copy that. All right, I'm gonna do the next part real fast. All right, next you're going to get out your watercolor paints. And I want you to think about what colors do you think leaves could be in the fall? I know because I have looked around and they are pretty much every color. So I'm gonna get all of my paints wet. Just putting a little bit of water in them just to drip. Wash your brush every time to keep your paints nice and clean. The tray is very dirty, but my actual paints look very nice and clean. And that's great. So I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna gently pat the color that I want to use. I'm gonna use purple first. And I'm going to try to stay inside the crayon lines. What we're doing today is called a crayon resist, meaning the crayon will act as a guard to keep the paint inside the lines. Pretty cool. Now I'm gonna to go to the next color and I'm going to touch the purple, but I'm not going to overlap it just kind of touch them. And you can see how the different colors go together. Think about what colors you might see on a leaf. Sometimes I see purple, sometimes there's blue. There's definitely a lot of red, a lot of orange, some brown, and obviously lots and lots of green. So go ahead, take your time, use any kind of fun colors that you want. You can even paint your leaves um, in rainbow color. Oh, see how it's wet and they're blending together? That's what we call a bleed in paint, in watercolor paint, that's called a bleed. And I'm gonna continue to keep painting this leaf. If I'm painting them while they're wet, the other colors can bleed together, which actually looks really, really awesome. So work on your painting and then don't forget to upload it to discussions.
So here's my finished painting. Don't forget to upload your pictures to the class discussion. And remember, if you don't have watercolors or crayons or access to some art supplies, let me know. Send me a note on Canvas and I'll put supplies at the front desk for you with your name on them.